Hello, good morning everyone. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fraction. So, yan ang topic na ating pag-aaralan sa umagang ito. Let us first start with adding similar fraction. Let us have an example. We have 3 over 5 plus 4 over 7. So, the first thing that we need to do here is we need to find the least common denominator of these two fraction. So, ang least common denominator nitong dalawang fraction na ito is 35. Now, the next thing that we have to do is to multiply 3 times 7 and that is 21. And then 5 times 4, that is 20. So, we have 21 plus 20 is equal to 41 over 35. So, our answer is 41 over 35. So, let us have the next example. We have 7 over 8 minus 2 over 9. So, in this situation, meron tayong subtraction naman. So, we need to find the least common denominator of this 2 fraction, which is 72. Paano natin nakuha yun? That is 8 times 9. That is equal to 72. Then, just cross multiply. 7 times 9, that is 63. Minus 8 times 2, that is 16. So, we have 63 minus 16 over 72. And that is equal to 47 over 72. So, that is our answer. So, we have the next example. We have 3 over 4 plus 5 over 3 minus 7 over 2. So, this is combination na. Plus and minus. Now, in this given fraction, you need to find the least common denominator of these three fractions para ma-solve natin ito. Now, paano natin hanapin yan? Hanapin muna natin ang multiple ng bawat denominator niya. Let's, let's start with 2. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. How about 3? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. How about 4? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So, titignan nyo dito, sa multiple niya, ang least common denominator is 12. So, ilalagay natin sa denominator niya is 12. Ngayon, kung hindi nyo alam o hindi nyo makuha ang least common denominator ng tatlong fraction or given fractions, just multiply the denominator. What is 2 times 3 times 4? That is equal to 24. Pwede nyo ring gamitin yan. Then later on, you will just find the lowest term. So, para ma-solve nyo ito, i-multiply nyo ang bawat fraction na ang lalabas, ang denominator is 12. So, i-multiply natin yung first fraction by 3 over 3. 3 times 3, that's 9. And 3 times 4, that's 12. Plus, 4 times 5, that's 20. And 4 times 3, that's 12. Next, 7 times 6 is 42. And 2 times 6, that's 12. At ngayon, dahil nga pare-pareho na sila ng denominator, we can just simply solve this. So we have 9 plus 20 minus 42 is equal to negative 13. And that is over 12. So this is our answer. Hindi na natin pwedeng i-divide dyan sa lowest term niya or is ilagay pa yan sa lowest term niya. That's the answer. So we have the next example. We have 8 over 5 minus 2 over 3 plus 9 over 4. So, para hindi na kayo mahirapan na hanapin ang lowest term niya, just multiply the denominator. So, we have 5. So, we have 5 times 4 times 3. That is 60. So, our least common denominator is 60. Ngayon, multiply natin ang bawat fraction ng number na magre-result sa 60 sa denominator niya. So, sa first fraction, we will multiply the given fraction by 12 over 12. So, we have 12 times 8, that's 96. And 12 times 5, that is 60. Sa second fraction naman, which is 2 over 3, we can multiply that to 20 over 20. Para makuha natin yung denominator which is equal to 60. 
So we have 2 times 20, that's 40. And 3 times 20, that is equal to 60. So we have 40 over 60. And the last fraction, 9 over 4, pwede natin multiply yan by 15 over 15. So we have 9 times 15, that is equal to 135 over 4 times 15 is equal to 60. Ngayon, since similar na ang kanilang denominator, we can now add and subtract them. So, ang una natin gagawin, isusubtract natin yung 96 over 60 minus 40 over 60. So, 90 minus 40, that is 56 over 60 plus 135 over 60. So, i-add lang natin yung 135 sub 56. So, we have 11, carry 1, and we have 9, and we have 1. So, our answer is 191 over 60. So now we go to multiplication of fraction. So let us have an example here. We have 3 over 5 times 7 over 2. So what we need to do here, just multiply the numerator with the numerator and multiply the denominator with the denominator. So we have 3 times 7, that's 21. And we have 5 times 2, that is 10. So our answer is equal to 21 over 10 and that could not be reduced anymore to the lowest term that's our answer so let us try this fraction we have 24 over 27 times 45 over 30 so in this case lalo na kung wala kayong calculator mahihirap ang kayong mag multiply directly to the numerator to the numerator and denominator to the denominator so ang gagawin natin Ipa-factor out natin yan. The factor of 24 is 6 times 4. The factor of 27 is 9 times 3. The factor of 45 is 9 times 5. The factor of 30 is 6 times 5. So, pwede na tayo mag-cancel dito. Ano man yung pwede natin i-cancel sa numerator at denominator, that will be equal to 1. So, ika-cancel natin dito yung 5 over 5. Ika-cancel din natin yung 9 sa 9 sa denominator part. And we can also cancel 6 and 6. So what is left is 4 over 3. So this is our answer. Alright, let us have another example of multiplication of fraction. We have 56 over 77 times 35 over 40. So 56 is equal to 8 times 7. And 77 is equal to 11 times 7. 35 is equal to 7 times 5. And 40 is equal to 8 times 5. So, pwede na tayo magkaroon ng cancellation dito. So, first of all, we can now cancel 8 over 8. We can also cancel 7 over 7. Basta kung ano yung nasa numerator, pwede mo i-cancel sa my denominator. Next, pwede rin natin i-cancel yung 5 over 5. So, what is left is 7 over 11. So this is our answer, 7 over 11. So now we go to the division of fraction. Now when dividing two fraction, just interchange the denominator, then proceed to multiplication. Let us have an example. We have 8 over 5 divided by 12 over 7. So gaya na sinabi ko, just interchange. Pagbalik ta rin ninyo yung denominator, then proceed to multiplication so we have 8 over 5 times 7 over 12 binaliktad lang natin now we can now factor out the given fraction so 8 is equal to 4 times 2 over 5 so we have times 7 over the factor of 12 is 4 times 3 so pwede na natin i-cancel Yung 4 over 4. And now 2 times 7 is equal to 14. And 5 times 3 is equal to 15. So our final answer is 14 over 15. That's our answer. Alright, let us have another example of division of fraction. We have 4 over 3 divided by 9 over 5. So ang magiging resulta niyan, 4 over 3 times 
5 over 9. So we have 4 times 5, that is 20. And 3 times 9 is equal to 27. And that is our answer. Now let us have another example in a fraction form. So we have 36 over 54 over 64 over 48. So this is the same as 36 over 54 divided by 64 over 48. So we have to interchange the denominator then proceed to multiplication. So we have 36 over 54 times 48 over 64. And now we can factor this out. So as you can see, yung 36. So 36 is equal to 9 times 4. And 54 is equal to 9 times 6. Times 48 is equal to 16 times 3. And 64 is equal to 16 times 4. So we can cancel now 9 over 9. And here we can cancel 16 over 16. We can also cancel 4 over 4. And what is left is 3 over 6. Ngayon, meron pang lowest term ito. We can divide 3 over 6 by 3 over 3. So 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So our answer is 1 half.